all right guys welcome back to our youtube channel so in today's video our main focus is on ramp plunge toolpath in a milling master cam so let's get started it suggests this lesson is just for the beginners to introduce with ramp plunge toolpath so for that first we gonna draw a quickly 3d model for that just simply go to wireframe click on rectangle then select a rectangle click anchor to center and make our width to 6 and height to 4 click ok our rectangle is ready now we simply go to line endpoints to draw a line click over here and then we're gonna hit space to make our xy coordinates for the first endpoint of line so for x coordinates it's gonna be 2.5 in positive and then for y coordinates it's gonna be 2 press enter then you're gonna see the line is selected at the coordinate we gave and now we're gonna simply angle it to 260 degree press enter and now you can see the angle is at 260 degree but just we need to specify the second endpoint so we can just simply go over here click ok now we're gonna go to divide to delete the extra geometry click over here here and you can see our geometry is here now we just simply go to solid click over here click on extrude and then select hold shift select the whole chain click ok and now we're gonna make our extrude distance to 2 and in downward direction if you want to change direction you can change it over here but in this case we're gonna go by down downward so to downward click ok so our 3d geometry is almost ready which is basic if you want to learn a little bit complex than this you can click over here and I have a, another video lesson on 3d geometry so now go to our machine tab so start doing select machine default now we're gonna select our tool settings click over here make our tool num program number two any you want but make sure you don't have similar program number in your machine so you can go over here by 5 and then enable these two options and enable these options in advance so click on stock set for setting up stock we're gonna use bounding box option which is here so click on bounding box and then simply to select all select con press ctrl a as you see over here it says to select all press ctrl a so end selection and click ok and then just simply click ok you can see our red dot line shows our stock is set up and you can see this one is extra which we gonna remove by using a toolpath counter and in that we have option of ramp plunge so let's get started go to counter toolpath and then select the chain and you can see over here the whole chain is selected but we just want to select this angle chain for that we can deselect it we don't need to cancel it for that just simply go to unselect all and click yes and gonna unselect all chains we selected so now we're gonna go to select a single chain over here so simply go to single chain and click over here and you can see a single chain is selected which we want to select and it's we need in clockwise direction which is already in clockwise direction if you get this in counterclockwise you can always make it change the direction so for here we're gonna use clockwise direction so click ok and now we're gonna go to tool we're gonna select our tool click filter none select end mill and make it equal to one inch click ok select library tool and select one inch flat end mill comment it countering using ramp plunge so we're gonna go to cut parameters default leave it everything default here like on computer and counter compensation direction should be left stock to leave is zero everything is zero just simply go to counter 2d and click on ramp so this is the option where we are doing main so click on angle we're gonna go by angle the angle gonna be two degree 
so click so we are leave everything default and make sure you enable one way ramping for open counters so it means whenever one ramp is done by two degree and it gonna go back by a constant z value it gonna it doesn't gonna go back by z up or down it gonna go just simply by a constant z value so go to lead in and out enable it and we can we gonna use line perpendicular and then make our radius to zero we don't need to use arc motions here and simply copy it to exit to make it off we can just simply put a zero value it will automatically turn off the arc radius in lead in and out and leave everything default now go to break breakthrough enable break breakthrough just simply put point zero five thou and go to multi passes enable multi passes and make our rough pass to two and make our spacing to point five and make our finish pass we gonna do one finish pass so click over here and its spacing gonna be twenty thou and leave everything default and then simply go to linking parameters enable clearance absolute our drift track should be absolute and our feed plane is should be absolute here as we are doing selected the chain in top of the part so so now our depth gonna be from absolute to negative 2 as we set up the extrude command to 2 so click simply click okay and you can see over here a tool path is generated which is ramp plunge tool path so we usually use this tool path for like it can when you want to use con continuous ramp to tra transition smoothly between depth cuts instead of individual plunge cuts this technique is very useful in high speed machining and you can see over here the tool path is generated these two are two rough tool paths by a going angle 2 degree from one side to another side and then in the end you can see one finish path so still going on a rough passes and we gonna quickly see in a minute you can see our this is our tool path the blue lines always shows the tool path and the yellow line shows the quick rapid move of tool coming and going out so now we gonna go to select all and to verify it click on verify and then just simply you can see a tool comes it's to make it more very clear gonna go you can see over here it's ramping as you can see over here the tool is going by 2 degree and then going z on a constant value where we set go back z as a constant value so you can see over here it's going on 2 degree angle plunge which is good for tool life as it doesn't getting too much load on the end mill so you can see over here just a simple operation of pl plunge mill just a simple operation of and you see it's just a simple operation of ramp counter tool path and in next video we gonna go how to do open machine open pocket so please make sure to watch that video also once it's available i gonna put it on the description link below so that you can watch that later on so for this one
thanks for watching guys if ramp toolpath so if you like this video please don't forget to hit like button and if you have any queries you can comment it and please do consider subscribing if you are new here and we have lots of beginner level mastercam videos and go check it out thanks for watching guys